Glucagon is a hormone that raises the level of glucose, or sugar, in the blood. It is used to treat severe hypoglycemia and is given by injection. Over the next few minutes, we'll show you how to properly administer glucagon in the event it is needed to treat severe hypoglycemia. The glucagon kit contains a vial of sterile glucagon powder, an attached needle, and a syringe containing a sterile diluting agent. Be sure to always have an up-to-date glucagon kit available and someone trained to administer it. Your kit should always be stored at room temperature and only used when you are unable to swallow or when you are unconscious. To administer the glucagon, open the plastic emergency kit. Remove the vial of sterile glucagon powder from the kit. Next, remove the syringe filled with the sterile liquid from the kit. Remove the cap from the vial of powder and the needle cap from the syringe. Inject the needle into the vial of powder through the rubber top. Then, inject the sterile diluting solution into the vial of powder. Do not remove the needle. Mix the solution by hand. Do not use the glucagon until the mixture is clear and the solution has a water-like consistency. When the solution is thoroughly mixed, turn the vial upside down Move it up to the end of the needle and draw the solution out and into the syringe. Make sure to keep the needle in the solution the entire time to ensure all of the medication is drawn out of the vial and into the syringe. Then, remove the vial from the syringe. Hold the syringe upright with the needle pointing toward the ceiling. Push any air out of the syringe. The glucagon can now be administered into the arm thigh, or buttocks. The medication will work if given subcutaneously under the skin or directly into the muscle. If necessary, the needle may be injected through clothing. Glucagon may cause vomiting, so turn the patient onto their side to prevent choking or aspiration and call 911. Check blood glucose levels. Glucagon may take 10 to 15 minutes to start working and a second injection may be given if needed. Once the patient is alert enough to swallow, give them 15 to 30 grams of carbohydrate, such as four to eight ounces of juice or regular soda, or four to eight glucose tablets. Only when blood sugar is in a safe range, over 70 mg DL, give a 15 to 30 gram carbohydrate snack. Notify your provider that glucagon was administered and be sure to get a replacement glucagon kit from your pharmacy. For more information, please refer to our resource page.